so now we are going to integrate our api so first of all what we have to do we have to just go to the file okay select new and create one maven project so basically i am going to start with a maven you can use a spring boot whatever you are prefer next it will ask just click next and you can give a group id so i'm just going to give a stripe then artifact id is payment so you can see a stripe dot payment i will get the name then it will create the whole the package next it is a src file okay so we have to consider mainly in pom file what will happen here if you are going to integrate our stripe we need a stripe maven dependency so here you can see previously they are using j unit we need a stripe integration so what we'll do just go to the google type a stripe maven dependency it will open the dependency and you can see a latest 6.5 just click and copy this whole and just come here in dependency just paste okay now i will just come okay it will download that jar and it will integrate in our code also next things like we have to create the first customer so basically if you remember in previous video we saw like how we created our customer by creating with ui now we have to create first customer with using of api for that one we need to use our key so if you click here developer in developer you can see that they are having api key so if you also sign up in your account you can go and you can see here secret key if you click here it is my secret key so if you use your secret key then it is easy to understand you, you can go your dashboard you can easily see all things here next is what will happen so we have to just go to the source okay package and by default it is my normal basic program so if you run here you will see hello world so now we have to integrate the stripe key so just use a stripe okay dot api key next you have to enter the stripe key so i just copy that one and after that i paste it so here what will happen here we have entered the stripe key so it will refer me like that whatever account you will create or whatever things you will do it will directly go and reflect this stripe key that means like your account stripe account next is like we have to create customer so before creating customer we need to create some parameter like previously if you remember we pass email id so definitely we need to also pass like so definitely we will create one map of a string then it have to also a object and you can give here customer parameter okay then just give new hash map is good for us okay then automatically it will take the string then object so you have to just integrate and import that one so already we have imported our hash map now we have to pass first parameter what email id and we can also pass the description so i'm just going to pass for normal things um, customer parameter dot put so you have to pass your key key means like i will just give email okay then you can give email whatever email you want to add next is value so if you remember already we are having one customer so just go to the stripe and you can see how many customer we are having already we are having a at the rate of gmail.com so i will just go and give b at the rate of gmail.com 
okay so now we added our things now we have to call the customer new equal to customer dot create and we have to pass our parameter okay next you have to also import the customer okay so what will happen here when you are going to create the customer then it have to create the model of customer and we can't use new okay so we have to use customer then definitely it will ask throw exception okay that is we have done next is like our customer is created so how i will know like customer is created or not so we will see so just run and hit this one when you hit it it will not show any print okay because we did not use any system dot print line so we'll just go to the here and click on customer you can see here one customer is already created here with the name of b at the rate of gmail dot com you can see here if i will copy this whole line okay and if i print here remove this one okay then use new customer dot get id so what will happen it will print the customer id of new if, if you are going to create customer so already b is there so i'm just going to create with c now what i have to do i have to just run this program so when you run here it will take time fraction of second and after that it will create one customer then you can see here it is printed here so c u s d t n b okay net so if you go here and if you refresh also your screen you can see here then just come here okay you can see already one customer is created with the name of c you can see here customer id is dt okay cus under dt okay then you can see already we have created the same so in this tutorial we learn how to create customer next step is what we have to add some card details with that customer and next after adding we have to do some transaction so in next video we will see this all things